Hey guys, this is A4594, and I'm going to show you a tutorial today on how to make your own calendar with iPhoto. I think it's from iPhoto 06 and up. You can check, um, but I'm pretty sure I, I, I thought any of them could. Click right here for a tutorial, and click right here for a unboxing, so you can see my calendar and how it turned out. So you're going to want to go into your dock and click iPhoto. I changed my icon, so as you can see, it's different. And for some reason, it's not in your dock. And go up here to Spotlight, and you can type in iPhoto and hit Enter, and iPhoto will open up. Okay, so you create a calendar. You can go down here, and it should show um, keepsakes. The mine shows um, book, calendar, and card. I've also made a card. You can check that out um, on my channel. It should be a card um, review right here, so you can see that. But I have a card tutorial, but that's not the point of this video. So let's say you want to make a calendar out of a certain event, right? Okay, so you're going to want to go and look for that event. Which I'm trying to look for some pictures right now. Um, I'm going to choose this right now. And let's say you want to make all these pictures a calendar, or you just want to make, you know, you want this to be the cover of your calendar for some reason, this car, okay? So you can click calendar, and it's going to make you go to the new calendar. You have all these different options, picture, modern lines, colored paper, bit, big dates, you have vintage, classic, formal, kids cutouts, um, paper animals, and travel. I like big picture, I have a picture calendar, so that's what I'm going to choose. And it shows options and prices, you can check that out. Um, you can change the year, so let's say um, 2009 and you want to start it in December. Guys are giving it for Christmas or something, and you can change your uh, months from 12 to 24. Um, just choose like 15, and you can show your national holidays for let's say if you live in a different country, you want to choose that, or if you're in the states, you can just choose that. You can import iCal calendars, dates, and stuff, and show birthdays from your address book. Hit OK, and the calendar will make a new folder and it should appear on the side over here. So I just have a bunch, so I just have to scroll down. And as you see right here, it's all mine, but you scroll down, or it will be like right here. But um, it shows keepsakes, and then here's your calendar. These are my past ones that I have made, and they are amazing. So it's pretty easy to do. You can hit this button, autofill, to start them automatically. And that is how it just puts all the pictures in for you. Or you can go over here and choose the pictures you want. So you can just click it and drag it in, and there it is. You can hit this paper thing right here to look at all your different months, and then you can hit the, um, I think it's like three pictures to so do that. Okay, so then you drag your picture there, it's really nice and easy to do. You can go over here and type in your text, as you can see you have this whole area of the front calendar to do it. You can type in what you want, like, now this isn't the new car or anything, but I'm just naming this, um, and you know, Just showing you that you know you can fill out the whole thing, <clears throat> and you can edit something down here. Maybe you want to put the months of the calendar. I don't know. I think it would be through March if it's 15 months. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah, problem. Okay. So that's that part. And then once you do this, you can go right to this page and select the different months. And it ends in February, but it's okay. Okay, so let's say you don't have any other pictures now. How do you get pictures? You can just go to your events, or if you have these folders, but I'll show you how you're probably going to have it. Go to events. Let's say you want to put pictures in of your dogs. Okay. So you can either hit, you can hit whole command key, which is right by your space bar. You just hold it down and choose your mouse and start tapping on the photos and it keeps this one's highlighted. But you have to hold down the command key. Then let go of the command key and click on one photo and drag it to your keepsakes. So here's my keepsake one where I have a calendar I'm making and I just drag it there. And let's say you want to get all these photos. You can just click the mouse and pull to right. It makes a little right white um I don't know what it's called thing. And now all of these are selected. So you can also drag these just the same way that the other way worked. Okay? So let me just um, select some more photos. 
for y'all. Okay, now those are all in the calendar, as you can see here. So you're going to want to go to next month by hitting this arrow down here, by by calendar. And you can start adding your um, pictures. Put one big one in there if you want. Um, you can also... This is my, my fault. Okay, you just want to tap on the picture one time, and it'll let you zoom in or move it. And when the quality isn't good enough, it shows this um, yellow triangle here. I chose this picture because my mom took this with her camera. And the quality isn't good enough for this full-size photo if we are zooming in that much. So it'll tell you if it thinks it's not going to look good. But right here, it doesn't show a triangle, so it's okay to use. But you can still use it this way, but it just won't come out good as good. <clears throat> you can also type in quotes on these days. Just say, um, someone's birthday. Okay. And then you just hit X, and you know it's gone. But it's still right there, so we see that when we order the calendar. Down here, you can change the layout from 1 to 7. So you want to choose 7, and then there's all your photos. You can move this one around anywhere and start adding in your other photos of your dog, people, whatever you're making. Okay, so it's really nice, pretty easy to do, and it's pretty much basic, but you can also choose when you go up the layout at 7 you see you have is 2 there's one with this little writing down here and there's one with nothing so if I choose this one now I can add something down here so let's say I want to say my dog's name and put him on a watch Chauncey is on a walk okay so now you have that writing right there now I'm going to show you my calendar that I made really fast so when you're done with it you can hit buy calendar and it's telling me that I haven't finished it because this is just a tutorial. But when you hit buy counter, after you put in your information, which I think it did, right? Okay, I'm not going to show you that because it's going to show our name and stuff. But okay, here's the counter that I have made in the past. And you can click beginning, watch the review of that. As you can see, here is what we wrote. This is a 24 month calendar. You look right here, just look on the side of the pictures that we chose. So you can see all the different pictures. And then you know what? My calendar turned out just like these pictures. No mistake or anything. If you go all the way down to one of these, um, right here, this is the one where I chose the text down there. But then if you go to one like right here, I didn't have a text. See how that white spot now is filled in. So it's a really good camera. I um, hope this tutorial helps you. If you have any other questions, just post a comment down there and I will be sure to respond to you. Thank you for watching.